Hey, how's it going? It's, uh, okay, we're good. We're moving. Hey, how's it going? It's time for another episode of Morning Coffee. I had my coffee cup ready. Morning Coffee. And marketing. And uh, uh, today we are going to uh, talk about selling yourself first. Now, what do I mean you have to sell yourself first? I mean that you have to convince yourself uh, that you can, hey, what's up, Scott? You have to convince yourself that you can do what you're trying to do. You have to convince yourself that the product that you're selling is worth selling. You have to convince yourself that you are capable and able and that your goal is realistic and possible. And if you can't convince yourself of that, then you might as well just forget trying to convince anybody else. If you can't convince yourself that your product is worth owning and using, then how are you possibly going to convince other people? Zig Ziglar used to tell a story about a uh, fellow salesperson in the um, uh, uh, in the cookware business, and this other, damn it, fucking phone calls. This other sales guy um, goes in and, and and he just hit a hit a spell. He can't uh, he can't close any deals. He can't make any sales, and it's kind of driving him crazy. So Zig had been selling a, a lot at the point, so he came over to help the guy out, and he was uh, listening to the guy's pitch at his house, at, at the guy's house, not Zig's house, the other guy's house, and uh, he got through, and Zig said, well, you know, he said, uh, hey, what's up, Tony, Brent, Tony Cabral is watching, Tony Cabral's the one who originally introduced me to Zig, and I heard, first heard this story on a set of tapes, tapes, yes, I am that agent, we did not use mp3s or even dvds or cds at the time we used tapes anyway hey what's up tony um uh so zig is over at this guy's house trying to help him and uh the guy's complaining about oh and i just can't and, da, da. and zig tells him you know he said i think i know why you uh aren't closing the deals and the guy says well why he said tell me because i'm i'm starving over here i gotta make some sales and he says well and he points over to his kitchen where the guy is using a competitor's set of cookware instead of the set of cookware he's selling. He says, oh, no, Zig, that doesn't have anything to do with it. He says that, uh, you know, I've just had my kids been sick and the car's been down. So we've been down a vehicle. I've had to take a bus or my wife's had to take a bus to work. And we've, you know, things have just been tough the last few months. I'll get a set of cookware. I just haven't quite gotten to it yet. And Zig said, yeah, he said, that's exactly what your customer is saying when you get down to the short rows uh, and when they tell you oh it's been tough and the kid's been sick and wife was out of work for a minute and the car wasn't running right and I had to pay I had to get the car fixed you're thinking in the back of your head I know what you're saying brother because it's the exact reason I don't have a set of this stuff myself right he had, he wasn't convinced. So anyway, the moral of the story is that Zig convinced him to buy a set of cookware. He bought the set of cookware, made enough sales in the next week to pay off the set of cookware, and he was out of his slump. Now that's the deal. You have to you have to believe in what you're selling. You have to be able to sell. What in order to sell what you're selling, you have to believe in it. You have to believe it'll work. Um, you don't have, now. I, I mean, it doesn't mean that you know if you're selling a million dollar. Uh, you know, million dollar marketing packages to Fortune 500 companies, or if you're selling, uh, you know, uh, Porsches or Lamborghinis, that you necessarily have to buy one. But if you're selling, you know, some sort of common everyday widget and you're not using it, if you're selling some sort of self improvement program and you're not following it, if you're selling, uh, you know, if uh, if you're selling roofs and your roof is tattered and fucked up. If you're uh, selling, if if you're selling painting services and your house looks like it ain't been painted in six months or uh, six years or ten years, if you're, uh, you know, selling something that you can reasonably use and you are not using the service or the product that you're selling, you're going to miss sales from it, and that includes in a marketing sense, and it includes in a direct sales sense. You're not going to be able to set your business up right if you don't believe in what you're doing. And you're not going to be able to close deals if you don't believe in what you're doing. So if you don't believe in what you're doing, go find something else to sell. And uh, until tomorrow, uh, have it. By the way, that's part of the deal with any of my clients. 
when I take on a client, part of the deal is I have to believe in what they're doing. I have to believe in what they're selling. Now, I can put myself in different mindsets. So sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes I might not normally use a product. Uh, so, uh, uh, but that doesn't mean that I can't believe in the product. And it doesn't mean I can't put myself in a mindset so that I can imagine using it and I can imagine what it's like to use it. See, that's part of the deal with being a freelance copywriter is I've got to be something of a chameleon. So I do that regularly. But the one thing I will not do is write a promo for something that I do not believe in at all because uh, it's just damn near impossible to write something effectively. Anyway, have a good one and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.